to the east of us. So it's not really reaching many of our areas. Live pick a Doppler 7000 HD showing just some shower activity that's been moving over 29 Palms near Morongo. Might even be Virga, but we do have some moderate to heavy rainfall and some thunderstorms that have been moving over Lake Havasu and kind of traveling southwest from the northeast uh, down into Blythe as well. So it's been pretty active there this morning. Some heavy downpours and uh, some decent showers that are associated with it. We still have a small chance to see some for our mountains and deserts today. That will actually pick up tomorrow, as well as our heat. Excessive heat warnings go in place just for the Antelope Valley and only for tomorrow. That's expected to be the hottest day of the next seven, where the Antelope Valley is expected to get up to about 107 degrees. So that is going to be a very hot day. We have a wind advisory in place for just a few more hours. It's a little breezy to windy for the I-5 corridor and the Antelope Valley foothills. All in all, today shouldn't be too bad. We are warming up slightly. Yesterday was a nice little break from some of that extreme heat. And now we are going to get back into it with some more triple digits as we head into tomorrow. There's another cool down in the forecast. I'll be talking more about that in just a little bit, Mark. I'll send it back to you for now. Okay, Brianna, thanks. Involving a motorcyclist on the 91 westbound at Lincoln Avenue. The number one lane is blocked there. So a couple tough spots there due to some of these accidents. All right, we'll have another check in just a little bit. John, Rachel, Mark, back to you. All right, Brianna, thanks. 170 southbound, that's looking great from the 5 to the 101 as you're heading down into Hollywood. We have just about a five-minute drive there between freeways. Lay along the 10 and the 110 interchange. Also pretty empty here at the moment. John, Rachel, I'll send it back to you. All right. It's a nice way to start a Friday. Okay, Brian. So hopefully it stays uh, on the lighter side this morning. All right, we're going to turn things over to Gabe Santos in for northbound where lanes are now reopening. They did a traffic break, and so they initially shut all lanes down just for a short time. That's why we see this purple here. They've now let traffic go. I think, if anything, it's just the left lane that's blocked right at the 10 connector. It's backed up to the 6. The 5 southbound, the Santa Clarita area from the 126 down to the 170 if you're heading into L.A. You have just under about a 20-minute drive, so a nice little